Mina, come on, Jesus freaking gamer here, coming back at you with Psalm 66. Just gonna um, mention verse three, and may or may not have said this before on the channel. I'm not sure, and even if I have, this is a message that certainly bears repeating. Say to God, how awesome are your works! Through the greatness of your power, your enemies shall submit themselves to you. All the earth shall worship you and sing praises to you. They shall sing praises to your name, Selah. Verses 3 and 4. <laughs> Excuse me. I thought it was going to be just verse 3, but I'm like, you know, verse 4 just really flows well with that. This echoes the sentiments, or I, I guess rather I should say Philippians echoes the sentiments of this psalms, of this psalm. Yeah. Good English here. Because the psalms came first, where it says in Philippians that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Even in the Old Testament, it was saying, all the earth is going to worship God. In the Torah, God says to Moses, right before he um, commands the Israelites to wander the wilderness for 40 years, that the old generation may die off and a new generation may inherit the land. He says, as I live, the whole earth shall be filled with my glory, just as the water fills the sea. If God doesn't exist, of course, you know, half of my channel is useless. All the Bible preaching stuff is completely useless and worthless and means nothing. And if you are watching me despite believing that, thank you so much for giving me the time of day. It's greatly appreciated. I want to submit to you, even if it's offensive, that one day you're going to find out very much so how real God is. And you're going to bow the knee. You're not going to punch him in the face. You're not going to cuss him out. You're not going to tell him how unfair he was or how much he hid himself or how cruel he was. When you see him, you're going to bow your knee and you're going to tremble in fear. Because you're going to realize that all these crazy people, I am, I'm not just pointing at myself, I'm poking myself. All these crazy people who talked about him were 100% correct. My prayer is that you will see this before you die, or before this world ends, whichever of the two comes first. And I know the second point, that's a point of debate, not getting into that very heavily. Uh, regardless of your stance on that, we can all agree that one day we're going to die. And at that point, every knee will bow to God. You're not, again, you're not going to cuss him out. You're not going to hit him in the face. You're not going to object to how unfair he was. You're going to bow your knee. And you're going to tremble in terror before the God who, as you will come to see, certainly did reveal himself to you. If nothing else, through this message you're hearing right now, through this crazy guy right here. And there's plenty more content on the channel. I'm going to link you to one other video here that you can continue to research if you so desire. You're going to find out there aren't going to be any excuses. There aren't any good reasons. And God will actually, I, from what I can tell, he will take the time in the middle of judging you, he's going to take the time to show you where in your life he called out to you. He gave you a chance to repent. He gave you a chance to come to himself. He gave you a chance to see how great and glorious he is. Everyone shall submit to him. All of his enemies will bow the knee to him. This is not optional. And I want to be one of the guys, as crazy as it may sound, that sound forth his praise right now and let everyone know you're going to meet him. And you will bow the knee when you find him. Of course, again, if I'm wrong and God doesn't exist, half of my channel, including this message, all of my Bible messages are meaningless. But if I'm right, it's going to be one terrible day for anyone who chooses to ignore this message and pretend that it's meaningless and worthless and not worth their time. So please take a moment, maybe several, to consider what I've said and see if it's true. Guys, thank you for four minutes of your time. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. And God bless.